All right, evening, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Ah, so... No. Yes. That is my name. My name is Anik Solaris. And I am about to open up this solo walk, which I already had running. And let's just do... Let's see. Let's just go to Earth. Put us some music. There we go. All right, this is an app on the iPad. It's just pretty awesome. And um, and today is the oh man, what's today's date? Wait. But what's wrong with me? I have every right there. There. That's today's date. We are just about to end this night, or day, and um, I wanted to see if this app could simulate the eclipse that everyone is sort of talking about. Now, I'm on Long Island, so let's see if we can spot the eclipse using this app. Now, obviously, we can't do it from this angle. Where is it? Give me a second. I need to find the moon. Where's the moon? That is not the moon. That's the moon. Okay, if I zoom in from this point, you can slightly see the moon just to the side. Now they say the peak of it was to be at th round three. Now obviously, Earth is the same, but the moon hasn't changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the current time. And then we're going to pull back. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the moon. So there's the moon in all of its glory. And this is the interesting part with this app. I lined it up right behind the sun. Since it is a lunar eclipse. Meaning that the moon will be covered from the sunlight because of the earth passing by or the moon passing by it doesn't matter either way this is the sun and there's the earth right there so i'm gonna line it up like that and i'll let you see minutes go flying by and you'll see the eclipse fast forward in seconds so imagine the hours going by a few seconds fast. There you go. The lunar eclipse. And I'll repeat that so you can see. This is current time as of 11.48 p.m. April 14th. It is in the morning on about three or two hours from now that we will see the lunar eclipse. Hopefully I can get some video. I cannot promise that. There's probably plenty of people who can do that. So once again, we're going to throw the minutes into fast seconds. There goes the earth. Pause. Look at that. At precisely 2.44 a.m. April 15th, this is what the moon will face. And if we go just a little bit further, they predict that around 3.46 or somewhere there, the peak of the lunar eclipse will happen. And you can see the Earth right there, blocking the sunlight. Now, this thing is still going, but it looks like by four, let's see where it ends up. Yeah, just about five o'clock, we'll be out of the lunar eclipse. But that's just so cool that this app can do that. So even if you're not able to see 
the lunar eclipse from wherever you are. This is a sort of like a simulation as if you were on the moon or just orbiting the moon and you can see the lunar eclipse happening right before your eyes. Oops, sorry. Reminders. So one more time. And there you go. A lunar eclipse simulated with the solar walk app on my iPad. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like if you like. Take care.